Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Survival Map. Long time no see. We've been uh, doing a lot. Been real busy and trying to get uh, a new adventure with life going forward. And uh, we're actually going to start another YouTube channel coming up soon. But news on that for later. This less, uh, well I guess it's survival-ish, right? Yeah, alright. So, uh, sorry for the delay in content. I do have a lot of stuff to review, so we're going to actually kind of go through this kind of quick and over the next mini-series of opening all the new gear I've been buying and storing and unable to use because I haven't made a video to open the box to use the gear. But here we are now, and uh, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is this beautiful BioLite. Here it is. Here it is. The BioLite Solar Power for Later. So this beautiful thing, just to give you an idea, is a 300 milliamp lithium ion battery attached to two solar panels. It weighs 1.21 pounds according to the specs on the back and it's got 10 watts of output in peak sun very cool it says it will charge a uh, phone one and a half times so why do i have this why am i talking about this i have this crazy theory that we have all these cell phones nowadays that are more powerful than anything we've ever had before this um the S10 Galaxy S10 Plus is out. I'm just guessing that by December the Galaxy S11 will be out. And uh, so many people trade in their phones, their old phones, their slightly damaged phones, or, you know, because the, the, they want that $100 credit. But for a little bit of trading value, or you can go on eBay and buy a used, you know, S8, S7. Galaxy, for example, or Apple, you know, whatever your bread and butter is. And for the weight of the cell phone, you have this amazing tool, this powerful, powerful tool that you could, you know, have so many things on. You could have pictures, videos, you could have uh, survival books. You know, the SAS survival book is pretty heavy. If you ask me and there is a mini version out as well you know actually how about I weigh them so here's the mini right here the mini SAS survival guide which is my personal favorite to have in my bug out bag because here is the uh, full version as you can tell it's quite different so just you know just for the sake of argument right here's the mini SAS survival book and it comes in at seven point six ounces okay seven point six ounces here is the full SAS survival handbook comes in at two pounds two ounces two pounds I'd much rather that be two pounds of food a cell phone just for example my wife's cell phone with a protective case comes in at 8.4 ounces so cell phone, mini computer, 8.4 ounces. SAS survival mini version, 7.6 ounces. So the difference on that math, right here. And it's not very much, right? So some sort of solar panel, some ability to charge your equipment out in the field, I personally think is going to be a fantastic survival tool you can hold uh, pictures videos games morale boosting stuff and then you know for the weight of the mini survival book or just a little bit more because the cell phone you could have a hundred books more than a hundred thousand books books don't take up a lot of space they're on PDF I wanted to do this all nice, but it wasn't having it. All right. All right. Here we are. Again, one more look at the back. One more look at the specs. There you go. And here's the equipment. It's pretty light. It said 2.21 pounds on this 
was what it weighs. And it weighed less than that in the box. Oh, no. Oh, it does work. One pound, three ounces. 3.3. .3. One pound, 3.3 .3 ounces. So for a pound, in direct sunlight, I can have power. For 75 minutes, at least, right? And then it's supposed to be all cool. You can orientate it, flip it up. You can have it on... You can lay it down. You can. Uh, there's a sundial right here. You can orient it toward the sun. And then this is the ion battery pack, you know, and it's got USB ports on the back right here. Uh, looks like it's got a USB and a Type B input. Kind of a bummer. I'm just kind of hoping to be Type C. All right, so here's my Mad Genius plan. Actually, let's talk about this real quick. It feels durable and you know not too too flimsy this is the this part clicks for the different angles which I like it means it'll be fixated once I put it there which I'm super happy about and intake sun rays it feels plasticky um, and a motherboard like this is well it's a solar panel covered in some Durable plastic. I like it. It's sleek. And the fact that it comes at one pound three ounces, I'm super excited about. It does have clips or uh, holes, so you could, you know, clip it onto your backpack, for example, and carry it. You know, clip here, here, or here, and here, or here and here, and just kind of let it hang on your backpack while you hike. All right. Here's the Mad Genius plan. Ready? Excited? this plus a power bank so this will charge a cell phone in 75 minutes or or, or less 1.5 times in 75 minutes right in direct sunlight high noon kind of stuff but it um this battery will also charge my phone 1.5 times and i didn't say but it, i'm guessing that i could charge a power bank in about six hours maybe seven hours of sunlight so the plan the game plan is i've got a um a few power banks i've got a perfect one for hiking i've got a 10,000 to 20,000 i don't own a 30,000 i don't think i'll ever need that it just weighs so much but if my uh 20,000 milliamp power bank will charge my cell phone three times and my cell phone lasts for about two days. In a survival situation, you could put it on power saving mode and your Galaxy S8, for example, will last, I think, four days or five days on power saving mode. I'm not talking about you're playing games 24-7. I'm talking about there's no electricity, cell phone towers are down, it has hit the fan, apocalypse, crazy stuff. And you have this powerful computer at your fingertips. I've heard of some preppers, uh, urban prepper if I'm not mistaken, downloaded all of Wikipedia, all of it, um, and saved it. Yeah, look, this is my Anchor uh, power bank. I think this is the 20,000 milliamp one. Yeah, this will charge my cell phone three or four times. So, here's the game plan. Yeah, don't mind the stickers. I like marking them so I know mine from my wife's. Man. All right, 20,000 milliamp power bank. Charge my phone four times, which these things are kind of heavy. This weighs 12.7 ounces, kind of a lot. Between the two of them, just stack them on top of each other. One pound, two pounds. For two pounds, no, oh, don't forget that. I guess we can have the bag and the cord. Let's put it all in there. Yeah, two pounds, almost exactly. So for two pounds, I can charge my cell phone, my computer, my 100 survival books of my top 
10 survival books, my top 10 favorite survival books in PDF. I could save a thousand pictures. My favorite four video games of all time that don't require internet connections. That's important. Uh, you know, that just require the cell phone. And I could do, um, so pictures for morale, video games and music for entertainment and survival of the mind. And then survival books for survival of the body. Put it in power saving mode. Lose some of the pretty colors. You know, there's uh, low, medium, and or there's ultra low, low, medium, and regular for your cell phone power saving mode. So just say put it on the four day mode. So you take a cell phone that lasts four days, a power bank that'll charge it three times. That's twelve days, and this will take uh, about eight hours or so, assuming I'd have to test it. But I can charge this in about eight hours of sunlight. So the plan is if I get eight hours of sunlight, I don't forget this will charge, the battery pack will charge my phone 1.5 times by itself. So that's one and a half. So that's four, the initial charge is four, eight, nine, ten. This will do it three times. So that's 12, that's 22 days. So if I get sunlight, eight hours of sunlight over a 22 day time span, I will have access to my computer, my personal computer, the Galaxy S10 or 7 or 6 or whatever you got. And that's perfect. That's amazing. That's That resource is invaluable. And uh, it does take some technology. And I'm not even going to talk about other things like these uh, rechargeable flashlights, rechargeable headphones, rechargeable... What else will we use? Anything you need recharged for one pound you in some sunlight, you can do it. I've got other, um, I've got another solar panel pack that is four panels that you put on your back, but it's kind of heavy. So I wanted to explore this and I think this is amazing for a single pound. Like it's made by BioLite, good stuff, BioLite. I really dig it. Um... You know, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. This is just a product that I bought, that I like, that I enjoy, that I got from Amazon, and I'm testing. So look forward to a future video where I test this and let you know how it really comes out. Until next time, see you around.